everyone, my name is Dimidovsky Alexander, and welcome to the series about OpenVINO Deep Learning Warbench, the tool that helps you easily analyze, optimize, and prepare your models for the deployment. In this video, we will learn how to run Deep Learning Warbench on the Windows machine. We will learn how to configure your machine with installing Docker, Python dependencies, and then actually we will finish with running Deep Learning Warbench on your machine. So let's start. It all starts with OpenVINO documentation website. And here you need to find the run the Deep Learning Warbench locally web page and follow the instructions there. So as you can see, there are several steps that you need to fill in that web form in order to get the instructions that would help you run Deep Learning Warbench on your machine. So first of all, you need to answer whether the Docker is installed. Then of course you need to select the Windows as a target operation system. Then you need to select the accelerator. Please note that for Windows, you have only one option and it is CPU as a target. If you want to run Deep Learning Workbench and run your model inference on GPU, Neural Compute Stick, HDDL, then you need to use Ubuntu system. So after that, you need to decide whether you want to run Deep Learning Workbench with a Python starter or with a Docker command. So of course it is beneficial to run the Workbench with a Python starter as it allows you to have better feedback and uh, error handling in case uh, there is something wrong when you run deploying Warbench. Of course, if you are working behind a proxy, then you need to fill it. And as you can see below, the instructions are generated. So we just need to follow them one by one. So the very first step is installing Docker desktop on your machine. For that, you need to follow official instructions from the Docker team. And in fact, it is just installing the Docker desktop as a standard Windows application. So you download the installer, run it, and it is installed then. Once it is installed, you need to run the Docker desktop. For that, you need to find this application in the search and wait until it is running. You can see it by the green status bar in the Docker desktop dashboard or by that little whale at the bottom of the screen. After you have installed Docker Desktop on your machine and made sure that it is running, then you can return to the instructions and follow the second step, which is configuring Docker. So DL Workbench is quite resource consuming, especially if you want to optimize heavy deep learning models. So for that, before running deep learning Workbench, you need to make sure that your Docker Desktop is configured in a way that all Docker containers that you are going to start will have enough resources. For that, you need to go to the settings of the Docker desktop application by clicking that gear button at the top of the screen, and then go to the general and uh, make sure that you uncheck the checkbox about using WSL as an engine. After doing that, you can manually allocate resources on the resources tab in the settings. So here you need to allocate at least eight gigabytes of RAM. If it is possible to allocate more, then you're welcome to do that. Once you've done that, make sure that you press apply and restart in order to make the changes applied to the Docker desktop application. So when your Docker desktop shows that it is up and running, we can proceed to the third step. So the first step is actually installing Python. So as we have chosen to run Deep Learning Workbench with OpenVINO Workbench Starter, then we need to install Python and its dependencies in order to run it with the Python wrapper. If you don't want to use it, then you can use the plain Docker command and you don't need to install Python and all its dependencies. So Depending on what you have chosen, you would get another instructions in that web form. But as we have chosen the most recommended way, then let's make sure that Python is installed. If it is not, then you can follow the official instructions from the Python team about installing Python on your Windows machine. Please note that there might be some constraints on the Python version, so read carefully the instructions. So our next step is installing pip. Pip is the Python package manager, and uh, we need to install it by using the instructions 
or when it is already installed, just making sure that it is there by running the following command. So once we have Python installed and uh, pip installed on our machine, then we can actually install the OpenWinner workbench that by the start server that I was talking about. So for that, we need to copy this command and run it in the PowerShell. So once uh, we've run it and it is finished, then OpenWinner workbench starter is installed and we can start deploying workbench. For that, we need to copy this command and run it in our PowerShell. What it does, is checking whether the Docker image of the OpenWinner workbench of given version is present on your machine. And if not, then it pulls the image first. And after it is pulled, then it creates the fresh Docker container with the OpenWinner workbench running inside. So this process might take some time. And uh, once it is finished, you will get the logo printed out in the PowerShell as well as the link. So Let's follow that link. So deep learning workbench is up and running and you can immediately start optimizing and analyzing your deep learning models. Congratulations, your deep learning workbench is now up and running on the system. You can immediately start optimizing, analyzing and preparing your models for the deployment. If you want to learn more about ways how to customize deep learning workbench starting procedure, you can always explore the documentation. There are plenty of ways. In the next video, we will learn how to actually optimize your original model or take the model from the open model zoo and benchmark it and also optimize. If you have any special feedback or questions, please don't hesitate and ask them at the official Intel forum. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.